An update now to a story we brought you back in November. An environmental group became concerned when they saw pictures of bacteria growing that indicate some sewage may have been dumped into a Dixon County Creek. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how the fight to stop the practice is only getting started. I'm telling you, this is the steepest part to go. Down at the edge of Liz Smith's property. This is where my family goes. My, chil my children, my grandchildren. Should be a slice of paradise. We grew up around creeks. But instead, she's found something putrid. It's like detergent soap suds or something. Just down from an outfall belonging to the White Bluff Wastewater Treatment Plant. This is a disaster. We're actually catching Trace Creek on a pretty good day. It's actually pretty cool temperature wise and we've had a lot of rain that have flushed some of the bacteria out. But here are some pictures at its worst. You'll see this white uh, stringy stuff. Thank goodness my grandkids didn't see it because they would have been playing with it. But <laughs> we were like, holy cow, to be honest. When environmental protection group the Harpeth Conservancy saw the photos, they recognized what some people call sewage fungus. It's confirmed that it's certain types of algae and certain types of bacteria that really go to town when there's a lot of um, so processed sewage in the water. Which is concerning in any body of water. Not supposed to have visible scum, not supposed to have the wrong appearance. But especially given where the water flows. That um, pollution load comes straight into the Harpeth River State Park. So along with the Southern Environmental Law Center, the Harpeth Conservancy sent TDEC the State Department of Environment and Conservation, a letter asking them to look into it. Their attorney, George Nolan, says the state found similar test samples. The Department of Health confirmed that that material is sewage-loving bacteria and algae scum. But then a surprise. The state wrote back saying the complaint fails to demonstrate a violation of the permit. We were shocked when the state took the position that there is no pollution, there's no permit violation, and there's no problem. To us it was like, wow, this is really shocking, and frankly, not a hard thing to fix. So now both organizations have filed an administrative lawsuit, hoping a state board could choose to intervene. Why would they even tolerate this sort of thing if there's a solution? Unless that happens, Liz's little slice of paradise will be considered off limits. If this continues to happen, it's going to get worse and the next generations, I mean, they might as well put a sign down there by the bridge that says, don't enter the water, it's polluted. With photojournalist Angie Dones, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. We reached out to TDEC for this story, but they referred us back to their response letter. If you'd like to read that letter and the official lawsuit filed, you can read it on our website.